Hi guys, it's David from August University today and uh, today I want to talk about Hex, what's going on with Hex, Hex.com, Pulse Chain and the markets recently. Obviously we've been seeing a dip in the last recent month or so. Um, so is this something to be concerned about? What are my thoughts on this? Um, as well as what's going on with the, the whole market as a whole, especially meme coins, things like that. And uh, yeah, so I just want to give you guys a market update and what my opinion is on Hex. So let's get started. All right, guys. So Hex has been devastatingly going down recently. Now, I am a believer in Hex, what Richard Hart is bringing to the table, and I'm definitely hodling, holding, staking my Hex. But, you know, when it comes to the chart, it's not looking great. So if you guys know what Hex is, if you don't, Hex is, uh, stakes an average 40% interest a year, uh, the first blockchain certificate of deposit, high interest, no minimum, and decentralized design, over 200,000 wallets on Hex so far. Bridger Hart is making new Ethereum fork with lower fees on Pulse Chain. Okay, so that's basically what Hex is. And you can go to the Hex's website and check everything out here. Hex is the first blockchain CD, highest appreciating asset. Hex removes middlemen. Hex's share price went up 10,287x so far. Hex is low inflation and Hex pays 40% APY on average. So the community is huge on Hex. I'm huge on Hex. And I still believe we're nowhere close to where we're going to be uh, for all-time highs. So now we're having a significant dip. Let's actually pull up the chart. Um, I use actually something called Lux Algo. If you guys are interested in Lux Algo to see buy and sell signals on charts, then I'll, I'll have it down below with my coupon code as well. Um, and definitely take advantage of this if you want to see like the, the strong signals, the buy signals all that stuff on any asset class, whether it's stocks, cryptos, um, you name it, you can check it out as long as it's on TradingView, okay? Forex, whatever. Um, so right now on the daily chart, we're at a sell, guys. We're getting mass massive sell-off from the all-time high here, right? So, you know, things could look better. Things could definitely look better, right? As you guys can see, we're still hurting a little bit. As you can see, we're not extremely bullish right now. Now, <clears throat> there's a few causes of this dump. Um, on the back end of things I've heard from the Hex community, there is someone that has a significant amount of Hex and they've been basically uh, dumping on the market, right? Taking the profits, maybe they're an OG Hexican, maybe they've been in this since the beginning, I don't know but they've been taking their profits and obviously the prices have been going down. We were moving upwards significantly with the hype and excitement around Pulse Chain. Now I'm still excited about Pulse Chain. If you guys don't know what Pulse Chain is, it's an Ethereum fork where we're getting all the duplicates of Ethereum tokens, ERC20s on Pulse Chain, okay? Pulse Chain is a place for hex to be moved and duplicated over as PHEX or just the new hex. And then Ethereum Hex is still going to be staying there on Ethereum, okay? Because if you tried to transact today doing a swap, I was looking at it today, it was like $200 for a swap, guys. That is ridiculous. It actually went, I actually went on an exchange and bought more Hex today because the Ethereum fees were just way too high. That being said, I did dollar cost average in the Hex to accumulate more. Do what you got to do to make it happen. Now, is this the end of the dump? It may not be. So if you guys look at Hex Vision, okay, Hex dot Vision, this is the back end here. I'm gonna make my head smaller so you guys can see more of the screen, okay? So Hex dot Vision, and if you go down here, yeah, you guys can see that the um, the stake is expiring. There's a huge amount expiring. Look how high this is, guys. Look how high this is tomorrow, okay? I'm not trying to scare you guys or anything like that, but there's gonna be a bunch of Hex officially able to unstake at this time. The stake is expiring at this time. 
So this could mean a couple of things. This could mean whoever is holding all this hex that's unstaking has opportunities to dump on the market, sell, take their profits, right? That's 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 the chance. Because anything can happen tomorrow. Uh, they might take their profits, or they may restake. In my opinion, the smart thing to do is to re restake. But you know, I would have some money liquid tomorrow if things go very very low, right? Um, now, I'm not taking away from what Hex has for value. I believe in what Richard Hart is doing. I believe in what Hex is doing. Hex community is amazing. But prices moving downwards can happen, especially in crypto. Hex is extremely volatile, and so is crypto as a whole. So what am I doing through this time frame? Today, we had on Nomics here, uh, we're down you know, almost 11%, where everything else is relatively green. And... Things like meme coins have been blowing up, right? Blowing the F up. Shiba Inu, uh, Dogelon. We got pretty much all these meme coins coming back from the dead. Safe Moon up 30%. It's just madness. So people are dumping into these. People are pushing into these other assets. Ooh, Decentraland up 50%. I, I like to see that. I'm big into NFTs and um, NFT gaming and and uh, stuff like that as well which i'll be talking about more on my channel here if you guys didn't already hit the like button please hit the like button and subscribe and once again i will be doing a giveaway still i'm um, just trying to put everything together but i'm still doing that giveaway for you guys um so just comment down below what your strategy is on hex right now and crypto as a whole right are you into shiba inu right i'm holding my bag of shiba inu hopefully we get duplicates on pulse chain some people are just completely anti uh, meme coin, I don't believe in that. I believe in crypto as a whole. Yes, I'm a hexy can, definitely not a hexy can't, and I'm definitely holding my hex bag, and I'm excited about Pulse Chain. But I have other cryptos as well, um, so hopefully you guys understand that. And if you're other, you know, don't judge people because they're holding other cryptos. And that's all I'm trying to say. I'm gonna stand behind that on my channel. Hopefully you guys can agree with me there. Um, now, yeah. So everything else is kind of going upwards. Bitcoin's still up there. Ethereum's still up there. So hopefully this could turn around. But guys, we might, since tomorrow there's those, those stakes ending, we may go even lower, guys. So we're still on a strong sell-off here. We might, I don't know, guys. I'm not trying to get nervous. I don't want, I don't want it to go down as much as you guys don't want it to go down. But it could get lower. So get your chips ready. Get your liquid funds ready so that if it goes down, we gotta stack up. We gotta stack up. I still believe by end of the year, and it's almost November now, guys, by end of the year, we'll get to at least a dollar, dollar point five, or maybe even two dollars. But we need that massive run up, guys. And right now, that's not happening. So if you look at the overall chart here, you know, this kind of looks similar to what happened here, where we're at 18 cents, and we went down, you know, to about 10 cents. But, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't look pretty. It doesn't look pretty. But long-term value, guys, we're not worried about what happens in a month. We're not worried about what happens in two months. We're worried about what happens in a year, two years, five years, 10 years. 15 years so get your stakes in buy on the cheap get your stakes in hodl for that wild ride and worry about your retirement okay your retirement so you can hex flex on a new house or hex flex on a vacation or hex flex for your family and not worry about not worry about um you know the current price today okay so just if you believe in an asset get it on the cheap while you can and uh that's all i have for you guys today uh, I appreciate everyone following me on my channel, August University. If you didn't already do so, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And uh, yeah, just stay positive, guys. Don't let it freak you out. Don't let uh, anyone panic you. Don't let anyone tell you what you can and what you cannot do, what you can and cannot buy. Just uh, take all the knowledge in and then make, make your own uh, investments, make your own decisions. This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Until next time, guys, I appreciate you. Stay bullish, and I'll see you guys in the next video.